Good morning. Here we go. So, first, let me give you some close-ups of the base and the way it looks. Now that that's done, let's go over what we're going to do. So, there are areas on the base where there are little cracks where it's lifted a little bit from the other pieces that were plopped down before. That's not a problem. This is all solid. It's not going anywhere. Those will be filled in with some paint and stuff like that. What we're going to do today is... I'm going to clear off, I'm going to clean off the edges of the plaster or the sculpt mold, clean it up, sand it, retape the base again so that when we paint, we're not going to screw up the, the wood basing. We're going to paint it with a mixture of browns and muds and yuck. So I'm also going to add uh, some gravel here and there and things like that. So that's the plan today. And of course, we're going to paint up all the mud on the, uh, the tanks themselves. Attach the tanks. And we will be calling that a completed project. So, hold tight. We will be back in just a few minutes. Um, as always, please like and subscribe. You know, hit the little bell icon. Do all the cool youtube -y stuff. Um, I appreciate all my followers. Uh, I think it's kind of fun to find out that people are like either interested in what I'm doing or just kind of like, wow, look what this idiot's doing. <laughs> either way, it works for me. Okay, so let's get to work and uh, be right back.
base coat for the mud is done. So what we're gonna do is we'll let this dry, and then I'm gonna cover the whole thing in a in a brown wash, and that'll give me a little bit more detail. Then we'll do a big dry brush over it, and then we will uh, well, might add some puddles and things like that. But I'm not I don't know. Maybe I'll just once I dry brush it, maybe I'll just paint it over with a gloss uh, finish so it looks muddy. That might be a good idea. So, hold tight. We'll be back in a little while, and uh, see you soon. Now comes the hard part for me, waiting. I have to wait for all the uh, um, wash to dry before I can go in and do anything else. I hate that. I don't want to wait. I'm, so, I'm like right there. I want to get some more still. Oh, it's so much fun. Okay. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm being silly. Anyway, this is the hardest part for me. I'm not the most patient human being in the world. Although, working on models has developed my sense of patience. Which is kind of a nice thing about it. So, here's where we're at. We gotta let this dry. And uh, once this is dry, we're gonna do a light airbrush. Or a light dry brush, I meant. I'm sorry. And then I think I am going to cover it with a gloss coat. And that will pretty much be just about it. So there we are. I think the colors work really good. I think we got the mud down rather well. Um, I can't think of anything else at the moment. So lucky for you, this is just going to be an instant cut to dry piece and next step for me I think I gotta go do some dishes or something all right back in a few minutes
Ta-da! <laughs> I like saying that. Ta -da. Anyway, there it is. We're all complete. We're just going to let it dry a little bit more. Everything is where it belongs. I've got all, I'm going to get some close-up pictures for you. The gloss texture worked out really well on the mud, so I think we got the mud going good. Uh, we added the gloss texture, the, the treads, and the mud on the tanks and everything as well. Everything is glued in place and uh, pretty much finished. So this is the Ming Models World War Tunes Sherman versus Tiger Fury Style. So... As always, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I will uh, start uh, showing off what the next project will be soon. Um, until then, uh, as always, like and subscribe. I appreciate you all following and watching my videos. And uh, keep on modeling, y'all. Have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I will see you all very soon. Have a wonderful day.